Please. Uh, it's the fun. You guys are down 11 or whatever it was early, and they're making all their shots. Um, at what point, maybe did the senior did the seniors come together and say you guys weren't ready to go home yet, and just kind of pulled together? At what point did that happen, and then kind of what was the attitude the rest of the way? Well, it was at one point, one brought us all in together and told us we're not going to lose this game. And from there, we just started getting stops, and you know, defensive pressure started picking up, and we just started making plays on both ends. Sergio, same to you. I mean, you guys have been up and down, up and down all season long. Uh, efforts the last two nights have been pretty big time. Um, just talk about, you know, more more or less the same kind of deal tonight. You guys just didn't seem like you wanted to leave it. You know, it was a tight game, and we, we really didn't want to go home. You know, like you said, one brought us together. One was like, you know, we're not losing this game. And everybody took it in their mind, you know, diving on the ground and everything. You know, one came out big for us. You know, he should be in this room, too. He had a lot of rebounds, putbacks at crucial times, and knocked down some key free throws. And uh, it's just no one was ready to go home from all down the line, even the ones on the bench. We just said, we're going to stay another night. Stefan, you guys at the start of the second half took the lead, and they uh, they took it right back. Um, a week ago, do you think this, this basketball team responds in the same way it did tonight? Oh, not at all. I mean, me, Serge, and Juan, Juan's played – tournaments before too. I mean, the older guys, you know, we, we told the young guys that, you know, we're not trying to go home and we've been in these situations before. And, you know, when we played them at their home, you know, we let down and they just kept putting their foot on us. And, you know, like Sarah said, you know, once they put their foot on us, we, you know, we stomped them right back and never let, let up. I like that. Sergio, this is uh, the same type of position you were in. Back here. Same type of position you were in last year where you know, you'd, you'd won a hard-fought game to get through the quarterfinals, and, and then in, on, on Monday, you know, it was a hard-fought game against Troy. You guys just came up short. I know you're not necessarily looking back to last year, but, but what can you do, uh, I guess, to, to make this semifinal trip a little more successful? You know, that feeling sticks with you, you know, after last year, and, and we're still in the back of our minds just to extend and, uh, you know, we're not trying to feel that again. You know, we can be sore when we get back to Bowling Green. We're about to lay everything we got on the line, our bodies, our minds, and everything. And uh, I just, I'm not ready to go home. I have no pet and one. Not. So we, we're just going to give it everything we got. Uh, for either player or both, whoever, um, the second half offensively, what was the plan that you guys uh, – Came right out scoring and got the lead. What was there any particular? Uh, well, the big guys were in foul trouble, and coach emphasized to just keep pounding the ball inside and keep hitting the offensive glass. And that helped us um, on offensive end. You know, first half we, we got the guards got to shooting the ball real good, and they had to guard us, and then uh, they, they opened it up for Pet. And then the second half, Pet and one just took over the inside and made it easier to play inside out. Um, it was just a combination of good play from, from outside in and then inside out. And good coaching. <laughs> I like the name. He wants to start tomorrow. Yeah, I do. <coughs> Anything else for the student athletes? Okay. Josh Parrott from the Lafayette newspaper. Uh, guys, how much did things change when number five fouled out? It was about seven minutes left. Did, did you notice a change in the demeanor of the Cajuns after that guy fouled out? Um, our plan was to go at him. We uh, figured he had three fouls early in the uh, second half, and uh, coach said, "Let's pound it in the pack and uh, let's get him. Let's get him out of there." And uh, we got him a fourth and quick, and he sat down. You know, first game we did really good against us, and we didn't want to give him a chance. So we pounded the top bigs, we got him in foul trouble, and we eventually got him out pretty early in the game, and it was easier to play after that. Steph, what your response? Uh, pretty much the same. I mean, we knew he was in foul trouble, and the coach just said, just keep pounding the ball into me or one and try to foul him out, and, you know, that's what we did, and that helped us out.